And we're hearing from a student and his family about an altercation between a police officer and that student on school grounds in Truro a number of days ago. As Bruce Frisco reports, the father has filed a formal, formal complaint against Truro police and the family has retained a lawyer. You're making it worse! You're making it worse! Just wait! Captured on multiple cell phones and later shared and posted online, this altercation between a Truro police officer and a student followed a fight on the grounds of the Cobequid Education Centre. Police say a student was asked to leave but refused. The officer attempted an arrest and a second student intervened. It's the escalation that's captured here, ending with the student unconscious. Dude, actually get off! I was scared. You're scared. I was scared. Speaking with CTV News, the student says they were prepared to be arrested when another student intervened. From there, it's all a blur. I don't want to say this, but I have really bad PTSD, especially with men, and I, I was terrified. I didn't know what was going to happen. I thought it was very excessive for this police officer to be throwing my kid around, whether it was my child or somebody else's. So much so, the father has filed a formal complaint with Truro Police, who admit they've received it and have enlisted an outside police force to investigate. The province's serious incident response team tells CTV News it has not been contacted so far. The incident is worrisome for the family because the student is prone to seizures. Uh, we're not we're not sure what's causing them. Uh, he's taken 10 pills a day. He's been in two comas in 10 months and ICU three times. Every single time I have a seizure and see myself in the hospital, I don't know when it's going to be my last day. <laughs> As it stands, the two students are facing three charges each, assaulting a police officer, resisting arrest, and trespassing. Police have said body cam and surveillance video will reveal the whole truth of what took place. The father says his lawyer has also requested copies of those. Now, in addition to the charges, the student says they were also suspended from school for 10 days. The family says the school was well aware of the student's medical issues and there was a plan in place to deal with those issues, but none of that was apparently followed during this incident. Todd. CTV's Bruce Frisco in the studio with us this evening. Thank you for that, Bruce. You're welcome.